Welcome back to my channel. I've got kind of an unusual video today. Well, I guess the content of the video isn't that unusual. I'm gonna be unboxing a Stylophone Beat here, as you can see. It's the way that I got this Stylophone that's unusual. I'm gonna go ahead and open it and I'll tell you the story. So, if you guys know I've done, you know, several giveaways on my channel, I, I think over a dozen giveaways as I've hit milestones. Well, recently I hit 8,000 subscribers and did a giveaway for that, by the way. Here we go. And uh, one of the folks that won the giveaway had actually won before, you know, he actually got drawn twice. And so he said, hey, you know, thanks for sending me this. Can I send you something? It's unusual, I don't get asked that very often, but he said, I'm gonna send you something. So he sent me a Stylophone Beat, and here it is. All right, so little uh, instruction manual here in the box, and then that's it. I and mean, that's all we've got, just the box, instruction manual, and then the bead itself. So let's get it out of the plastic here. So if you're not familiar with the Stylophone, it actually dates back to the late 1960s, uh, where somebody figured out, you know, if you take a stylus, there's a little stylus here that I am having trouble getting out. There we go. If you take a stylus and they had like a little keypad that you could tap and basically a small synthesizer engine inside there and you could make noises with it. And it was kind of considered, you know, like a child's toy to some degree, but you know, there's been notable artists, um, John Lennon, David Bowie, others that have used these. The Stylophone has gone through a lot of iterations over the years, and this is called the Stylophone Beat because it's supposed to be more like a drum machine than a synthesizer. Um, it looks like we've got a click, a play, a record. I'm gonna have to read the manual to figure out what all these things do. And then we've got this little pad here where apparently that's where we trigger the drums. Um, if we look around the outside on the side here, a headphone out, a volume control, and then a power switch. On the bottom, we've got a little battery door, and if I pop that open, it looks like it takes three double A's. Yeah, three double A's. Okay, so I put some batteries in it, so let's give it a quick demo here. Go ahead and turn it on. The red light comes on, that's probably a good sign, and let's see if we get drum noises. Yes, we definitely do. So there's our, there's our bass and snare. So let's see if we can make a drum beat on it. So, Oh yeah. Okay, so here is our Stylophone Beat. Let's go ahead and plug it on. It is currently plugged into the audio interface of the computer. And we do hear a little bit of hiss. I'm not sure if that's gonna come out on the video. But if we touch this, we should hear a bass tone. So uh, it does have two voices, a bass voice and a drum voice. And then there are four presets for each voice. So this, that's the rock preset. Let's go to techno. Okay, let's go to hip hop. And this one is Groovebox. Okay, now we also have the drum voice. And again, we have four different presets for the drum voice. So here's rock. Okay, techno. Hip hop. and groove box. Okay, now the nice thing is you can mix them any way you want. So you can use the techno bass with the hip hop drums or whatever you're feeling. Uh, I'm gonna go with rock drums and techno bass. That seems like a good combination. And the nice thing about the Stylophone here is it's got a built-in looper. So if I hit the record here, we see that light flashing. We also hear the click. Now we can set the tempo here. Okay, to whatever we want. We can turn the click on and off if we just like the light versus the click.
So there we go. So see it loops. We can also change the speed after we've looped it, but I kind of like it slow like that. And then now I can switch to the bass and I can easily add a bass line on top of it. And as you can see, you can add more notes later. Let's see what that sounds like. But you can also change voices, so check this out. I can now change to the hip hop drums and see it changes for me. Or I can change back to rock voice, a rock bass. So you can put in the pattern and then change it, which is kind of cool. So you don't have to decide before, you can decide after, which is kind of neat. Add a couple more notes. Now you can see it quantizes, so sometimes it doesn't quite capture what you play based on how the uh, quantizer is catching that tempo. But it is pretty darn cool. Let's change the drums again. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's a cool groove. There we go. So there you go. You can just kind of build up a fun little loop like that. And now you could play guitar on top of that or synth or whatever you want. Just kind of a fun little thing. Okay, so that was a quick demo of the Stylophone Beat, kind of a fun little drum machine. And um, I just want to send a special thank you to ID Unknown who sent this to me. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you for thinking of me. And I'll definitely get some good use out of this. Now, if you're interested in one of these and you want to purchase one, you can find them at pretty much any music store. They're around $40, but they also sell them on Amazon and eBay and lots of other places. Pretty easy to find. So if you like it, go check one out, pick one up. And if you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.